Good morning, welcome, namaste. My name is Kirby. Thank you so much for joining me for your practice this morning or evening, wherever you may be. So for practice today, you'll need a strap. You can already begin by making a loop in your strap. And if you don't have a strap, you can use the towel, you can use a belt, you can use um, the string of a robe. So there are options finding something around your house, just that you'll be able to loop around your foot or place around the sole of your foot. So if you don't have a yoga strap, no worries at all, but find something. So when you have that object, you have that thing ready, you're gonna place it towards the top of your mat, lying in line with the top of the mat, yeah? <clears throat> Come into child's pose, bringing big toes to touch, Knees slightly wider, arms stretched out in front of you. Taking a full breath in and a breath out. Again, taking an inhale and taking an exhale, softening, relaxing, dropping in. Again, inhaling. Keep stretching the fingers, keep walking the hands out, lowering the chest while pressing the hips back. Taking another breath in and a big sigh. <sighs> so to walk your hands in, sit back onto your heels. You're either seated right back onto the feet or on a block. Bring your hands, hold hands with yourself, and then start to figure eight, the wrists. Release that, give them a little shake. Send your arms out in front of you, flex into the wrists, pull back on left fingers. Pull back on right fingers. So at the heart of yoga, we have the eight limbs of this practice, which ultimately lead us towards freedom, freedom of the mind, which is freedom of our being, because then we're not limited by anything outside of ourselves, right? Release that, shake it out. We're not fantasizing. We're not making up worst case scenario, best case scenario. We're just presently in the moment, greeting life wherever we may be. Come into tabletop. Arch the spine, draw the shoulder blades together on your back, open up through the sternum. Cow pose, exhale as you round into cats. So just moving there, starting to articulate the spine. And in these eight limbs of yoga, they're almost like limbs of a tree. So, working really simultaneously with one another in order for that tree to grow. And one of these limbs of yoga, we have self-reflection or svadhyaya. And I love this, I love this pillar of yoga so much. And it also, um, it scares me because I'm faced with learning about myself in ways that I haven't had to deal with before right? Like we are ourselves because of how we were taught to be. So as you start to unravel that, which is the yoga happening, start to move the spine 360 east and west. Yeah, things start to come up and, and that's really where we're asked to meet our edge again and again. We're just asked to Sit in those places of momentary discomfort of the unknown in order to facilitate our own growth and expansion. So to slow that down. Sit back onto your heels. Today's practice is simply asking you to meet yourself at that edge, at that bit of resistance. Inhale, arms rise. Draw your prayer to your hearts. 
as you exhale. Maybe shut the eyes for a moment. Greeting our practice with curiosity. Just as we meet life with curiosity, we meet self with that same openness and willingness to learn. Take a breath in. Ha, ah, sigh it out. Come back to table. Arching the back. So let the belly go low, making space between the collarbones. Tuck your toes here, lift your knees to a hover. Slight pressing away of the upper back. Take a deep breath. A little micro bend into the elbows. Spread fingers. Ooh, knitting under ribs in, navel in, activating deep core. One more breath, down dog on the exhale. Start to paddle your feet, walk your little doggy, shake its tail, wag its tail like it's happy to see me. <laughs> I know I'm happy to see you. Inhale your right leg up and back. Oh, kick your door if it's there. <laughs> Knee to nose. Straight, stay for the inhale. Exhale, you plant it down. Drop your left knee. Hips sink down, grab your strap or your belt or whatever object you found. Rise it overhead. Pulling the strap apart. Starting to get into the shoulders, mobilizing. Exhale, release your strap or thing to the top of your mat, step forward. Inhaling, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Feel into your flat back, hands to shins, hands to thighs, or maybe hands to earth. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, rise it tall. Hands to prayer at your heart, Samastitihi. You check in. Relax the arms. Inhale, rise them up. Exhale, fold it down. Lengthen the heart. Left foot steps back a third of the way, pyramid pose. Both legs are straight somewhat. A little micro bend in front knee is more than welcome here. If you have blocks in your home, you're welcome to take them under your hands. You're just folding here over straight or straight-ish legs. Back heel is sealed at a slight diagonal. Meeting in downward facing dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Ripple forward, high plank. Hmm. Let your heels fall to the left. Keep both hands firmly rooted to your mat. Stack your inner arch of right foot to the top of left foot. So it's like you're coming into side plank, but you're not. You're keeping both hands rooted. One more breath. Keep pulling outer left hip away. Come back to plank. Transition other side. Heels to the right. Both hands stay firmly rooted. Take your left foot to stack on right. So inseams of the feet are touching. Outer right hip pulls away from the earth. Feel your edge. Meet it there and stay. High plank. Drop your knees. Arch the spine. Cow pose. Tap chin and chest to the mat. All the way to the belly you go. Inhale to cobra pose. Chest lifts. Thighs, squeeze, glutes, squeeze. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Down dog. Stay for the inhale. Exhale to land. Left leg high. Knee to nose, you pause. Strong. Exhale, left foot through. Drop your right knee. Sink the hips. Grab your strap or your object in your hands and lift. Gazing up, little back bend. Really pulling the strap 
apart between the hands. Plant your straps down, step forward, top of the mat. Halfway lift at Arda. Exhale, fold it down. Take the base of the skull in the hands and cradle it. Start to rock and sway. Hmm. Getting curious. Curious with your practice, curious with the body, noticing how you feel today. You're on your mat. I know every time I show up, it's like a freaking surprise party. I just never know what I'm going to get, how I'm going to feel. And I just meet myself there without the judgment. <sighs> Relax the arms. Rise up to stand. Inhale, arms sweep up. Maybe a little back bend. Cactus the elbows. Stick your tongue out, lion's breath. Standing tall, mountain pose. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift it. Right foot back, pyramid. Both legs are straight-ish. Hands to earth or to blocks. Back foot is rooted firm, so there's a slight diagonal. Heel is slightly in, toes are slightly out. Down dog, Arda. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Ripple forward, high plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, bend the elbows, hover the chest. Inhale, strong thighs away from the earth, shoulders roll back. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right leg high. Right knee to nose. Step it through. Lower left knee. Grab your strap. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. Step forward, top of the mat. Halfway lift it. Exhale, you fold it. Little different this time. Take your strap or your thing, your object, place it around the sole of the right foot. Left foot is rooted firm to your mat, but also easeful. So release the clenching of the left toes. Gaze forward as you stand, bringing right knee into chest. So to extend right leg, kicking through the heel, flexing right foot. I want you to focus here on activating through the hamstring. So if that means leg is lower than hip height, please welcome that in this morning or this evening, wherever you may be. I really want you to focus here on really kicking and lengthening out from the femur. Heel is the guiding force. Transition strap into right hand, externally rotate, opening right hip up and out. Left arm can cactus shape or rest on your hip. Again, there's just a drawing up of right heel away from the earth. Straight right leg. If that looks like releasing straps so it can feel more spacious for you, please do that. Inhale right leg back to center, bend the knee, place the foot down, release the strap, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Left foot back, pyramid pose. And then walk all 10 toes, long edge of the mat, wide leg straddle. Halfway lift it, lengthen the spine. Exhale, just give yourself a fold, grabbing ankles or shins. Right arm hooks under, left eagle wrapping the arms, or you're giving yourself a hug. Inhale, rise. Arch the spine, bring the elbows up. Exhale, you round it down. Walk your hands towards the top of the mat, bend into right knee, spiral onto left toes. Inhale, right arm up to the sky. Find a twist. Maybe you transition to outer edges of the feet for a moment. 
stretching into your abductor, so that outer hip. Rolling back through the chest. Yeah, sternum pulls up and up and up. Release both hands down, high plank. All of your energy into right hands. Vashisthasana side plank. Feet stack or you railroad. Yeah, you give yourself the support you need, but you meet your edge. So there's a space between underloading and overloading. Arm bones are stacked, outer right hip pulling away. Place left hand down, chaturanga. Inhale, rise it up, chest lifts, urdhva hastasana, urdhva mukha. Exhale, down dog, adha mukha. Take three breaths. Ha. We're on a journey to somewhere. Although it's not about the destination, it's about the company, so enjoy the ride. Inhale, left leg high. Knee to nose. Step through. Right knee down. Find your strap in your hands or your thing. Rise it up. Place it down. Step forward. Halfway lift it. Exhale, fold. Take your strap around the sole of your left foot. You know where we're going. Right foot is soft and supportive. Left knee into chest, gaze forward, stand. Pick, padanghustasana. Left leg towards the wall in front of you, towards me on the screen. And again, hip and foot do not need to be aligned here. If today, your foot is lower to the earth, invite that in. Maybe that's a little higher than you're used to. Meet that edge. So to open it out, externally rotate, left leg spin out to the left, drop goes into left hand. You can bring the right arm out, you can cactus it, hip it, but you're breathing wherever you are. Left leg through center and release. Inhale, arms stretch up tall. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, halfway lift it. Pyramid, right foot steps back. Heel slightly in, toe slightly out. All ten toes, now walking long edge of the mat. Wide leg folds. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold it out. Take a breath. Breath out. Bringing left arm under the right this time. Eagle wrapping the arms or hugging yourself. Inhale it up. Elbows reach, reach, reach towards the sky. Exhale, you fold it down. <sighs> Release that. Walk your hands towards the top of the mat, bend into left knee, spiral onto right toes, twist, left arm reaches up. Maybe you stay or transition to outer edges of the feet, again, getting into the abductor, that outer left hip. Ooh, arm bones are stacked, sternum rolls up, up, up. Release hands down, high plank. Left hand stays rooted, right arm up, Bashi stops in a side plank. And you're always welcome here to drop to left knee or left forearm. Feet are stacked or train tracks. Right hand plants, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath. To knees, exhale. Sit back onto the heels. Woo. Catch your breath. Readjust what needs to be adjusted and then finding stillness.
So to bring the shins and ankles further towards the long edges of the mat, so you can really nuzzle your booty down between the heels and the ankles. This may look like a block under your butt supporting you or a, or a cushion of some type. <clears throat> Coming into saddle or reclined heroes, I like to take my strap in the loop around the thighs <clears throat> and around the tops of the shins, making it taut. Because here we have a tendency when we lie back to really splay the knees out. So this just keeps the legs hugging in. That may look like compromising your low back. So if that happens, take something to lift. So a bolster, a pillow to lay along the length of the spine. And you're just going to start to lay back. Today, if the elevator is higher, you're up on the hands. You're kind of just hanging out here like you're basking in the sun. That's where you are. Maybe you're lowering the forearms this morning, today. And you're breathing. Inviting yourself to your edge. And being cautious though that you're not overloading the body, so causing it pain or harm. Practicing ahimsa, nonviolence with the self and honoring your needs and how they change and they fluctuate. Two more breaths. If you're on your back, you start to press into forearms, one piece at a time onto hands, everyone rising. All the way up you go. Sitting back onto the heels, bring the inner ankles to touch, thighs to touch, strap towards the top of the mat. Take a moment to pause. Adamukashmanasan. Downward facing dog. Gaze forward, walk, step, jump, or float. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Bend the elbows, cactus line, breath. <sighs> Left your hands at your low back, fold forward. Shoulders open, palms pulling together. This fists roll over your back. Uh, release the hands, halfway lift. Take your strap, or you're ditching the strap. You're going to come back to Padam Hustasana, extended big toe pose. Strap around sole of right foot, or you are connecting and interlacing hands under your right foot. Start to draw right knee into chest as you stand tall. Sending right leg out in front of you. Extend it. Stand tall through left standing leg. External rotation, right leg up and out. So you're either finding that yogi toe lock or there's the strap under the sole of the foot. Low release, right leg back to center. Strap falls away, warrior three. Cover the chest. Hands plant, standing splits. Lift, 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 right leg high, 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 point the toes. Crown of the head is relaxed. Forehead drawing towards shin. Plant your toes to the back of the mat, easy twist, left arm up. Look down. So 
right hand, right wrist, not directly under the shoulder, give it some space. Walk right hand towards the top right corner of the mat. Option to take your strap under the sole of left foot. We're coming into Vashistasana Padanghustasana. <clears throat> Shifting your weight to the outer edges of the feet. Really pressing into right hand, pulling right hip away from the earth. Rolling back, rolling back, rolling back. Sending left leg to the sky. Breathing. Meeting the edge. Shaking. Release. High plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Ha, great job. Oh, moving your strap back towards the top of the mat. Hmm. Inhale forward, high plank. Lower to the belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Just give yourself a moment to lie flat here. Jaw is soft. Body is heavy. Muscles heavy. Bones even heavier. Place your hands beside your chest. Bring your thighs to touch. Upward facing dog. So thighs lift. Pelvis lift. Shoulders back. Heart up. Look across nose tip. Down dog. Hmm. Look forward. Walk, step, jump, or float. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Bend the elbows, cactus. Ha. Clasp your hands at your back, fold forward. Hmm. Release hands. Again, you're finding strap around the sole of left foot or interlacing fingers under the sole of left foot. Right toes are unclenched as you rise left knee to chest. Sending left leg out, kicking it out, pulling up through outer right hip. Begin to externally rotate, left leg up and out. Oof, big external rotation, strong right standing leg. Left leg back into center, left knee into chest, release your strap. Warrior three, left leg back, 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 hovering the chest. Like you're kicking the wall behind you, left hip lowers in line with right. Hands plant standing splits, point your toes, send left leg up. Knee towards shin. Ooh, left toes tap down. Okay, so you know where we're headed here. <clears throat> left hand's not directly under the shoulder. You want it slightly in front of the shoulder. You're taking strap around the sole of right foot or you're grabbing onto big toe, finding that big toe lock. So to transition to outer edges of the feet. And you begin to open, shifting weight into left foot and left hand, kicking right foot up and up and up. Pulling left hip away. Ooh. 
It's okay if you fall. Release that high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Ooh. <sighs> Take an inhale through the heart. Exhale out third eye. Inhale into the heart. Exhale third eye. Inhaling to heart. Exhale to third eye. Heart. Third eye. So to walk your hands in as you sit back. Shoulders stack over hips. Take your hands to prayer. Sit up tall, inhale. Big sigh as you exhale. I'm at your edge. Look what, look what transpired. You made it out the other side, stronger, more alive, <laughs> more courageous. That's to be celebrated again and again. Come into Downward Facing Dog. Pigeon pose, left knee behind left wrist. Then right leg back, take a moment to lift, and then you lower the forearms, forehead to fist. We're all the way flat. Take an inhale, exhale, sit to press up, sit to outer left hip, spin right leg around, stamp it to outer left, outer right thigh, sit up tall and twist, either hugging left arm around right thigh or hooking elbow. Notice where right hand unconsciously landed, keep spiraling it back, inching right fingertips over to the right. Twist is from the rib cage, not the lumbar spine. So the movement is from the chest. Unwind it. Coming into pigeon on the right side, either that just looks like transitioning straight from here, or you can move through down dog, coming in. And you find your place to be for about 10 breaths. If there's major lift happening from outer right hip, place a blanket or a block, kind of nuzzle something under the right hip. Nudge, nuzzle. Sometimes I just make up words while I'm teaching. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm happy you're here anyways. Uh, you gotta fake it till you make it. Take a deep breath in. And a breath out. Ah. Sitting to outer right hip, moving anything out of the way. Spiraling left foot to stamp outside of right thigh. 
Can you sit up tall? And begin to twist either hugging right forearm around left thigh or hooking elbow outside of thigh. Notice where left hand landed and just keep inching it to the left. One more breath. Unwind it, come into a seat, cross the ankles. Take an inhale. Shut the eyes or gaze down. life's edge is an invitation to meet ourselves at the coverings and starting to chip away making cracks in that armor that keeps us small and keeps us timid in that place of fear where really life is happening outside of that place where we are in vidya, we are in clarity, in right thought. That only happens, it's only possible when we really lean into the discomfort at times. I invite you to Close your practice here in a seated meditation. You can breathe in and out from heart into heart out third eye. You're welcome to place your hands in Anjali Mudra or lie onto your back, seeking a final resting place of Shavasana for recommend at least two minutes. If you only have a minute, then I encourage you to stay for five. <laughs> sure. Maybe Shavasana or stillness is the most uncomfortable part of your practice. So all of that movement you welcome and you found ease in that leaning in to that edge, to the movement, to the strength. Maybe stillness is where you're more challenged. So I invite you just the same as the practice, just be curious with that. What am I resisting here? Can I meet myself in stillness? What do I need to hear? What do I need to be shown? work through the asana so we can enter into meditation. So from there we transition to samadhi, to freedom. Closing here, we're staying as long as you can. A million thank yous. Thank you to this practice. Thank you to Yoga's Roots, honoring this ancient wisdom over 5,000 years before us, my teachers and theirs, and you, my teachers as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you.